This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank, Slovacek Sausage, Germania Insurance, We Rent It, and RV Source. Well, it's time for the Burger of the Week, and this week we're in Grosbeck to see where beef comes from. Well, sort of. We're at the Grosbeck Sale Bar to check out the cafe. Every day across the Lone Star State, beef is being wheeled and dealed. With 12 million cattle in Texas, it's the top commodity in the state. And in Limestone County, the Grosbeck Auction and Livestock Company is the place to buy and sell your grazers. But if you work up an appetite watching burgers and steaks walking off the auction block, just head for the greener pasture of Billy B's Sale Barn and Cafe. Top notch. Absolutely top notch. I love it. It's just a good eating place. We have found our niche, and I think everybody has to find their niche. Billy Brown and Shane McLean are the grandfather-grandson duo in charge of making sure the ranchers and the regulars are oh. on their food. We've only got enough space to serve about 60 people, and we uh, serve about 1,200 people a week in four days. Only open Wednesday through Saturday, Billy B's is always busy. I have had many burgers here. <laughs> it's safe to say that Limestone County Sheriff Dennis Wilson is a regular here. You know, that's what they're always saying, the police cars hang out at the donut shops. Well, you can come by here and see a whole bunch of police cars too, because they know where to eat. You know, so that's how we get it. That's what we do. We do that. Billy isn't a rancher. He's a former produce salesman who wanted to do something different. So back in the mid 90s, he bought the old Sale Barn Cafe, a restaurant with roots that go all the way back to the 20s here in Grosbeck. I was born in the country and I'm just an old country boy. <laughs> O'Neill Foley is one of the old timers who's seen and done it all. All hay, loaded watermelon, bale hay, shredded. There ain't much on the barn that I hadn't done. When it comes to grub, this is his go-to place. Oh boy, they got some good food here, I'm telling you. We go out our way to get here, you know, on cattle day just for this. Now the one thing that might set folks back is the initial smell of the auction house. Being from the country, that cow aroma don't scare me because I'm used to it. Fortunately, the bouquet of the cooked beef carries through the cafe. When I bring my friends from the city out, I do give them a warning before we go. I'm going to tell you that once we get into the cafe, the aroma will change. It'll be a lot more pleasant than what you smell when we come out. It didn't take long to get a whiff of what was being made. So we headed to the back for a big old burger. We're going to fix you up today, cowboy. There you go. All right. We're going we're gonna to cook you a double meat bacon cheeseburger. Is cooking your passion? Yeah, that's what I like to do. I like to cook. Head cook Robert Stahl is the real hero over the steel flat top. But you're my man of steel. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he got things started with two six ounce patties of 90-10 beef, topped with pepper. The fresh beef sizzles on the grill, and fortunately, it's not as fresh as you might think. So you guys aren't butchering the cows right no, off the auction? No, no, no. I don't think the federal government would let me get back with it. <laughs> Could save money, though. <laughs> then comes eight slices of bacon. That is some pretty bacon. The bun gets buttered and toasted and topped with mustard and your typical toppings. The burger gets flipped, flattened, and finalized. All right, we stack it. Yeah, we're going to stack it up here and then we'll bring it across. We'll put the uh, oh, man. bun on right there. Like that, that's a pretty good looking burger, huh? Yeah, let's go try that, Robert. All right. There you go, Shane. Thank you, ma'am. Double meat bacon cheeseburger. Oh. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Yes. Appreciate it. Yes. Well, take a look at this double bacon cheeseburger. It is massive. The smell that is coming off it is amazing. Well, lucky enough, I was the high bidder on this burger, so now it's time to chow down. After just one big old bite, <laughs> I knew it was good. But it's all good, it's all good. Now that is some beefy, bodacious bovine. It's nice. I like them. <laughs> well, the beef is obviously the biggest flavor you get here. Imagine that. Then comes the bacon and all the garnishments and that bread. But the burger is all about the meat. Where else would you go in a small rural county and say you're going to wait for supper for an hour? There's not very many of those out there. Hey, why buy the cow when you could just get the beef? The 
It's not that it's Bobby Flay food, but it's uh, pretty damn good. Well, it's safe to say they definitely cook food that puts you in a good mood. It's good as a steak. Wow, that's saying something about a burger. I guarantee you. <laughs> well, the double bacon cheeseburger at Billy B. Sale Barn in Grosbeck, Texas. Well, we're the stop and the sale on the Texas bucket list. It really is amazing. This is not a local eating place because the word has spread about the food here and the hospitality. 